Hi everybody and welcome to The Flute Practice. Today we are going to be talking about the cork in the head joint. There is a kind of a little cork in there and when this guy is not working properly or he is out of alignment, it causes all sorts of havoc and today we are going to show you how to test this and how to fix this. Let's go check it out. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is just talk a little bit about the importance of the cork. The cork is basically kind of sit in, sits in there. You'll see kind of like a metal plate on the edge. And then there is a cork. If you unscrew this very gently, you will see that there is another kind of little metal plate sitting down there at the bottom. And this is basically the kind of other end of the cork holding it in place. Okay, so basically the cork is mostly very important for your intonation of your instrument. Where the cork is situated in the flute is going to determine if your flute is going to be in tune or out of tune in different ways. If the cork is too far up on the pipe, we're basically going to have a situation where all your kind of, um, what's it, left hand fingers are going to be too flat. So your B, C, G, all of those notes are going to be really flat. If your cork is too far down the pipe, you're going to have a situation where your Ds, your, all your right hand notes are going to be too sharp. So ask yourself the question, is my flute really out of tune? When your flute really is that out of tune, like you're playing and it's just maybe you're in band or you know, you're just playing and you're like, why is it so out of tune? The first thing you want to do is check your cork. And this brings me to a really funny little story, which I posted on Instagram about my piccolo, which has been so out of tune. Those B's and C's and G's have been so flat. And me, wonderful dodo that I am, was playing on it for weeks without actually thinking you should probably check your cork, you know, your head joint. So <laughs> eventually I did that. And I did that in the following way. I'm going to walk you guys through this. You take your cleaning stick. Now this is really important that you take the cleaning stick that belongs to the actual instrument and not another one because different instruments do have slightly different specifications. And if you really in doubt, you might want to just research your brand of flute or your instrument and actually just find out what that position should be. Usually they give you kind of like a measurement and you can measure it out on a little stick and then you can test it. Um, otherwise you might even want to, if you really can't find anything on any information, do go take it in or go, even phone up, phone up um, the manufacturers or whatever it might be. Maybe a bit more kind of PT than a beginner flute needs, but for the, especially the professional flutes, you really want to make sure that your cork is in the right place. So you take your cleaning stick. Now you're going to see in your cleaning stick, there is kind of a little line on the, on the edge there. Uh, I'm going to get my other cleaning stick. It's a little bit clearer. In fact, in this cleaning stick, there are kind of three little lines um, nicely there. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to put that cleaning stick very gently into the head joint like that. And what you want to do now, there are a couple of ways that I've read up about how to check this. So the one is you kind of look down on it like that and you want to make sure that the little line like that is in the middle of the head joint. Um, some people recommend that you turn it around as well and make sure that the, you know, on both sides, it looks more or less the same. If it doesn't look the same, then you need to kind of move it around to make it look the same, uh, move the actual cork. We're going to get to that in a moment. But actually, I think almost a nicer way to do this is actually to rather get it onto your eye level. You get the head joint onto your eye level, get the stick up there. And from this position, I find you can see very nice and clearly if it's in the middle or if it isn't in the middle. All right, now here's where the money's at. We need to figure out how can we fix this problem? And it is a very quick and easy problem to fix. There are some things you've got to be careful of, but there's not all that much that, you know, you can do hideously wrong. So I'm going to do the same thing on my flute. You can see it hopefully in there. There's, there's the line. Am I in the middle? I am in the middle right now, so I'm not going to fiddle with this too much today, but I'm going to show you guys how. So the, the first thing, let's imagine you, you see that line is shifted over to this side. So towards the end of that head joint side, this means the cork is too far up. Okay, so your B, C's, G's are going to be flat. What you want to do is you need to push that cork down a little bit. And what you're going to do is you're going to unscrew that cap on the top. You want to turn that head joint anti-clockwise to, to un un kind of loosen it up. And you can kind of see on the top there, you want to kind of open up maybe more or less as much as you can see that that is off the center. So maybe it's like a tiny little, like half a millimeter, you want to 
get the same distance as you open up over here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to just take it and you're just going to push it in. Okay. There is not that much you can do wrong in this. It should be quite like, it should be quite an effort to really push that in. And then you can test it. You can keep the stick in there the whole time and you can actually just test it and see, uh, is it in the middle and give it a go. Then obviously take out your instrument, play on it, check the intonation. The cork should really be quite tightly situated in there. So if at any point in this process you are realizing that cork is moving very easily, you're going to want to go take it to a repairman. There's not much you can do. You just need to go get it fixed. One quick way that you can just test whether or not your cork is, you know, got a leak or it's escaping is open up the top and just blow air into it and feel if there's a hissing sound or you can feel it's losing pressure or even worse, if you feel that cork moving, definitely too loose. Now the other one we've got, the line is too far down. It's you know, more towards the end of the flute, um, towards your right, whatever you want to go with. Now, I have always done it this way, but apparently it's not the right way to do it. So I'm going to tell you what I've read is the right way to do it. And then I'm going to tell you the way that I always do it. So apparently what you can just do is you can just tighten your, your crown, this thing, you can literally turn it. So you're going to turn it now clockwise and you're going to tighten it. And it's going to basically thread. There's a little kind of like um, screw in there that threads and it's going to thread it and it's going to pull it up. However, if it's not pulling up, people recommend, and this is what I always do anyway, but apparently you shouldn't. But what I basically do is I, once again, I just open that crown a little bit just to loosen it. And then what I do is I just very gently, I use my cleaning end of my cleaning stick and I just push against the top of that crown to just Kind of wedge it out a little bit this needs to be done very gently and carefully because yes you can potentially just pop your whole cork out which is not the end of the world it's like not a crisis it's really not a crisis but you do want to do it quite gently so maybe try rather kind of the threading thing so you're going to just tighten that that um, crown which brings me to my next point which is don't play with this i mean don't tighten this thing unnecessarily because you can mess with your head joint position so if you are like twisting around on this thing you are potentially you know, doing some damage. So you want to make sure that it's fixed and, and solid and that it's not, you know, moving around when you tighten it, but don't go past that point. Generally, I find that the head joint is more kind of out rather than in. And um, for the very simple reason that, you know, when we're cleaning the, the flute, sometimes we push a little bit too much and then we kind of push that cork, especially if the cork is a little bit loose. Sometimes we do that. If you are noticing you've moved the cork and then suddenly there's a better tone on your instrument. I noticed this in my piccolo, by the way, I, I changed it. Intonation was way better. It was like a new instrument. But what I did notice two things. Um, number one, my cork is a little bit loose, looser than it should be, I think. And number two, I noticed the tone was so much better afterwards. So I'm probably going to go take this guy in and go have that cork checked out. It's possible that he needs to be replaced. It's, it's been a while. Luckily, new corks, they're really inexpensive. Um, it's not a huge deal. It's not a huge thing. Um, it's quick, easy done. So it's, and it makes such a huge difference to your instrument. Like it could be the difference between you playing really well and playing really badly. So this is important stuff, guys. Go check out your corks, get out your cleaning stick. You know, I recommend almost just check it. It's not going to hurt anybody to just check your instrument and make sure that your instrument is functioning properly. All right, guys, a little bit of help with your corks today. I hope that was helpful. Until then, everybody, happy practicing and see you next time.